This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, January 30th, the afternoon edition. I'm James Spann. It's going to be cold tonight. Not as cold as last night. Some rain this weekend. Maybe some snow north of here next week. Maybe some thunderstorms here. And a lot of things to talk about. Rumors of some big snowstorm next week. We'll put most of those to bed. But let's go in there and take a look at it. Uh, let's start with the sky cam shots around the network this afternoon. Nice to see the sun out and temperatures in the 40s. That's the Birmingham Sky Cam looking south. Medaniel Building roads are improving. They're not perfect, but they're improving. That's Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. Hugh Thomas Bridge, dry as could be. Bright, sunny afternoon. Temperatures uh, mostly between 40 and 45. And even on the Gulf Coast, things are getting much better. You know, they had big icing down there. But uh, they are rising nicely. In fact, they're around 50 this afternoon. All right, got a more interesting pattern across the nation. It's different. Instead of the big ridge in the west and a trough in the east, now it's all zonal, which means uh, the weather will have a f probably a lot of changes coming up when you see something like that. Here's a look at our numbers. The only spot not out, out of the 30s, Fort Payne. They've got 37, but Birmingham and Anniston, 42. Tuscaloosa, 45. Like a heat wave, in the words of Linda Ronstadt or Martha in the Vandellas. Around the nation, new surge of cold air coming down into the northern plain states, but the upper winds, for now, will not allow that down here. On the watch warning map, we've got some red flag warnings around. That's for a wildfire danger and winter storm warnings out for much of Colorado and parts of Montana and Wyoming. Even the Sierra Nevadas, California, with a winter storm warning in effect. They could use that moisture. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Tuesday evening. The bullseyes back around the Mississippi Delta with three and a half inches there. Amounts in Alabama generally between one and two inches. But let's explore all of this. Let's take a look. This is the GFS. This is valid uh, tomorrow at noon at 500 millibars. <laughs> you can see the uh, 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 energetic southern branch. But around here today, tomorrow should be fine. A uh, pretty good supply of sunshine. Uh, we'll call it partly sunny, maybe a few high clouds around. The high should be in the low 50s. All right, this is uh, Saturday as we start the weekend. Moisture increases, but I'd say only an outside chance of a shower. There could be a shower around, yes, but I wouldn't call it a rainy day. Models have backed off a little bit on the warmth. They got us anywhere from 55 to 60 on Saturday. And this is Sunday, a cold front coming in from the north. You can see that front being pushed by a 1032 millibar high. And as that cold front presses down this way, that will likely bring showers on Sunday. I uh, don't think it'll be all that heavy, but rain amounts of at least a half inch likely. And uh, this is Monday of next week. We're getting into uh, slightly cooler air, but not much. I mean, Sunday we might make the low 60s, and then Monday we drop back into the uh, in the 50s. Now, let's look at the European version of that. This is Sunday evening at uh, 6 o'clock local time, and it's got a pretty good rain event going on here, uh, suggesting rain amounts of maybe one half to one inch on Sunday. And we note the colder air over Tennessee. And the, the European wants to bring a, a swath of pretty good snow, maybe down into North Mississippi uh, Sunday night. And look what it does here. And again, this is just the European. The, the GFS didn't look like this, but it brings. And by the way, I should mention that the snow down in Alabama, that that's not going to exist. That's basically a continuation of what's down now. But we all know that's going to melt. But this is suggesting Nashville might get like three inches of snow here Sunday evening. So if you're to the north, that's just uh, something to consider. But I don't expect anything like that here. Just rain showers on Sunday. Now, let's go to Tuesday of next week. A pretty good-looking shortwave, and down below that, a surface low cranks up around the Mississippi Delta. And uh, I think we get in the warm sector. The warm front seems to be over around the Tennessee border. Uh, so Tuesday would be mild and breezy. The GFS printing a high of 67. Uh, this is Tuesday night at midnight. Surface low moves over toward the Ohio River around Cincinnati with a, a band of thunderstorms moving in here uh, Tuesday night. Showed you these this morning, uh, the graphics, but don't have them this afternoon, but the instabilities are basically non-existent. The shear values were so-so. So this currently certainly could maybe suggest some strong storms, but for now the chance of severe weather Tuesday night looks rather small. And this is Wednesday, and rain is on the way out. This is suggesting rain would be ending by uh, Wednesday morning, and you can see noticeably colder air uh, dropping in behind that thing. This is Thursday. Nothing like the cold air we have today, but uh, Thursday of next week, highs probably dropping in the uh, 40s, and uh, early morning lows down in maybe upper 20s, low 30s, uh, something like that. 
Now, let's look at the European version of this. This is uh, Wednesday morning, a little slower than the GFS. It's got the uh, rain showers moving out. And again, notice that the freeze line at the surface is right there at the back edge of the rain. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any significant snow with this. And there's a lot of rumors floating around about some big snowstorm next week. No, there's no evidence to support that. Anything goes. We all know that. But uh, no, there's no evidence we see uh, right now to support that. In fact, the most interesting uh, feature out there in the land of voodoo, as we call it, is around February the 7th. Uh, this is the uh, European. And again, this is valid Friday evening, 7th of February. And it's got nine inches of snow at Huntsville. Birmingham with 1.5, but this is nothing more than absolute voodoo, pure speculation, and more than likely it goes away on the next run. Nothing to even worry about at this point. Now, you know, people like to throw up these maps and start rumors, but if you watch these videos, you know anything beyond seven days is uh, no, no skill at that at all at this point. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.